All right, this is another video, kind of like one of the last ones I did where I was just showing how to how I try and learn songs, but it was like a, <clears throat> a song from a video game. Um, I promise I have no idea how to play this song. Um, I haven't even listened to this song in a long time, but um, you know, it's it's definitely one I'll know once I keep listening to it. I mean, it's one I just haven't really listened to in a while. Um, it's Crazy Amanda Bunkface from Sum 41's All Killer No Filler album. Um, the first thing you want to do is listen to it at least a little bit and try and hear for the lowest note you can so you can kind of try and judge where or what, what tuning it's in. Um, as far as I know, almost this entire album is just in standard tuning. Um, so just starting with an E. So hopefully it's the same thing. Hopefully I won't really have to try and figure it out too much. Um, and it's a 2 minute and 16 second song, so hell, I could figure out how to do this probably in under 15 minutes, um, depending on how many changes are in it. I mean, we'll find out. So let's, let's go from here. If it ever starts. Don't know what you really got It's hard to say and not pretend Can't make sense in what you saw Seems I can't draw for a friend I'm not pretending Open all that you see And I'm the one singers So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart it just to try and... I try and learn all the sections as I go. I don't try and learn, like, little different parts because then it's hard to really put it all together. Um, so I'm going to start with the intro again. pretty much decided that it would be a lot easier to play in drop D and it probably is in drop D and like this whole part. <laughs> You can already tell I'm getting a lot of it um, just from listening to the song. I mean, I can honestly like know um, the next the next chord, I guess, like just in my head because I've heard the song so many times, even though I've never learned it. I can almost judge where it is most of the time, as you can tell. Like I, I figured out a lot of stuff pretty fast already. So let's go through the song again from the beginning since I did change tunings and um, go from there, I guess. Don't know what you really got It's hard to say and not present Can't make sense in what you saw Seems I can't draw a hand I
throw me off a bit because I was expecting this. But since the pitch changed and I didn't really uh, uh, pay attention to it, it went from to this. So let's let's see how much time I've been running on this video. Under seven minutes, and I learned that entire song. So, like I said, I'm not bullshitting anybody here. I have never learned how to play this song. Um, I mean, yeah, I have heard the song about a hundred times, so I just have that good of an ear where I can just listen to a song and pretty much know how to do it. Just like any of the new Blink songs, I pretty much knew how to do it almost as soon as, not really as soon as it came out, but like that After Midnight song, like, yeah, there were some live versions floating around and I kind of got a general idea on how to do it, but when I sat down, I mean, it was maybe two or three times through the song and I knew how to play it almost perfectly. So, um, this is, this should be a pretty much a good eye opener for all of you. I mean, learning to really trust your ear and to, um, just get a good way on how to learn doing it by ear instead of just trying to sit and find the right tabs, try and rely on everybody else to do things for you. I mean, it's going to be a lot easier for you to learn songs um, when it comes out, because like I've, I think I said it in one of my older videos, when that last Blink album came out, the uh, the untitled one or self-titled one, um, there were no tabs out. I mean, I could have spent 15, 20 bucks on a, a tab book to learn it if I wanted to, but I just learned it my own way. I learned what I thought sounded closest. I learned... Um, what felt most comfortable to me and that's the biggest thing uh, because you can get a uh, uh, a tab book that's telling you to play this fucking retarded ass chord and it can just be really hard for you to do for finger placement or it could just not sound right to you so that's why I say to try and just learn the best way you can I mean I'm not saying I don't use tabs I do a little bit sometimes to get a good like footing or like a good this little base to build up from, especially if I really can't figure out the tuning, um, like uh, like you saw real quick on this one. Like I went from it being an E standard to be, uh, to realizing it was in drop D. So um, it's stuff like that that um, I don't know. It just makes songs a lot easier to learn. It helps you grow a lot better as a guitarist, um, as a bass player, as anything. I mean. Learning how to play a song by ear is always the way to go, in my opinion. Um, I really don't know what else to really say about this. If you like this video, um, I can make more like this. I'll probably make another one just for the hell of it. Maybe I'll do um, the next Sum 41 song down, All She's Got. I've never learned that one. I've never learned Heart Attack. I've never learned Pain for Pleasure. I think I've learned pretty much all the other ones except for In Too Deep. I know I get a lot of requests for that one, but the, uh, the solo is a little intimidating and... Well, I don't know about that one yet. Um, if you got any questions, you know, let me know. Um, like I said before, the first thing you want to try and figure out is um, learning the tuning, and then just trying to get a feel of it. If you, especially if you don't know the song well enough yet, that's gonna make things a lot harder. Um, so, like when people ask me to do a song I've heard a hundred times, even if I've never learned it, it's still a lot easier because I know the song, I know the changes. Um, so, I mean, certain songs are going to be a lot easier for you if you know them. Um, I mean, I don't really have much else to say. So, thanks for watching. Um, send in requests. You know, the whole spiel. I pretty much say the same thing at the end of every single video. So, I don't really need to tell you the same thing anymore. So, um, that's it.